Good day, my name is John Simons, and we are considering what is called Pillars of Life from the Book of Ephesians. In our previous talk, we spoke about the pillar of fellowship and the incredible need of the human soul to live in relationship with other people. So for today, I would like to take you to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4, where the Bible clearly says that there is one body, one spirit, and just as we were called to one hope, there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The body of Christ is one of the pillars of life for anybody who follows Jesus Christ. Our devotion to our God is equally as important as our devotion to the body of Christ. As a matter of fact, my worldview is, the pillar of my life, is that I am not a Christian individually on my own following Jesus. Following Jesus implies that I need to find my place in the body of Christ. The body of Christ has many different levels. The first one probably would be the immediate Christians around me. The second level would be the local church of which I'm a part. The third level would be the city church in the particular area that I live. And then obviously there's also the global church, the global body of Christ. On all of these levels, God calls us to live in connectedness, in relationship. And as verse 7 of Ephesians 4 says, that to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. He's the head of the church globally. And he gives a specific grace to different movements within the body of Christ. He also gives a specific grace to your particular local church that complements the grace that he gives to other churches in your city. And similarly, he gives you personally a specific element of grace, a gifting a contribution, a place where you belong, where you fit in, and where you have to bring your contribution to whatever the mission of Christ is for your area, for your city, your nation, and for this world. Now in verse 16, we find very, very important departure points for this pillar of life, that I need to function in the body of Christ, because it says from him, that is Jesus Christ, who is the head, is the brain by implication. The whole body is joined and held together by every supporting ligament. Now the metaphor of the ligament talks about quality relationships. And the question that we need to answer is, do I live my life joined and held together in a quality relationship, in a strong connectedness to other believers? Because if that happens, the body grows and it builds itself up in love. All of us want to grow and we want to be strong in the Lord. Do you realize that that does not just happen when you read the Bible? It is the fruit of a quality relational experience in the church of Jesus Christ. Because it says here it doesn't just build itself up. Each part then does its work. I was recently so blessed by the story of one of the men in my weekly small group. He was in hospital and he tells me the story of how one of the other guys really supported him. It surprised me a little bit because this person is a true introvert and doesn't really say much. But I saw the body of Christ functioning well when I couldn't attend to some of the needs of the people around me. It was incredible to see how the body of Christ has various functions, various giftings, and we are truly better together. Then lastly, in Ephesians 4 verse 15, it says, Speak the truth in love. We will grow to become, in every respect, the mature body of Christ who is the head. I believe that a very crucial part of my connectedness to other believers is the fact that they will speak truth into my life. 
my own subjective perspectives about life can cause me to end up in a spot of bother. But the body of Christ, stimulated by himself who is the brain, brings the complement not just of support and fellowship, but also the complement of the truth of Jesus Christ. May you live in that quality of life.